as I have in this meeting also, one, that the public becomes more aware of the work that you do and a clearer understanding of the work that you do. But also, I mean, you can see that the resources that you do have, you're utilizing very well. When we were thinking about our outcomes, we thought it made sense to first kind of talk about it here with the city. Because I also think it, it made sense for us to also take this as an opportunity to talk a little bit about how we refined our work. Since I've joined the program, I completed four or five of my GD tests, my Surf Safe, my OSHA, and I'm a registered voter. I've learned, I've learned how to compete but be a good sport because I'm a very competitive person. What I, what I want to get out of UTEC is like learn how to be happy with myself and control my life even when it's not going the right way. And I just want to be, I just want my son to be proud of the person that everyone thought couldn't do it. As we grow, we dig deeper into our mission. And part of that is really looking at how well we're doing uh, with our young people and by our young people uh, on three specific outcomes, recidivism, employability, and educational attainment. Our rate, um, our arrest rate is about 16%, um, which includes young folks who have been released within one to three years, um, and convictions are around 2%. So we're you know, relatively happy with that, and we do really believe that UTEC is a positive force um, in helping young people stay away from further systems involvement. Um, about a half of our young people obtained external employment last year. Um, and 98% of our young people, a total of 98% were engaged in employment, whether it was externally or internally at UTEC. Um, and finally, over a third of our young people attained their GED and their high set um, who were enrolled in that programming. UTEC is, is critical to both um, you know, partnering with our gang unit into the strategy to try and prevent violence as we move forward into the summer, and also to more traditional community policing activities in both Centerville, Lower Highlands, downtown, and other portions of the city. They're going to be involved with uh, all, of, all of those things uh, specifically. The city's been a fabulous partner for my work with the police department, to DPD, to the health department. We, I think we've had a lot of different um, kind of cross sectors. So we appreciate the support. You know, you're very visible in the area, which is a good thing. Um, you know, people that I work with and people who I deal with um, speak extremely highly of you uh, and in turn UTEC. So and those are all good things. And I think coming out of uh, last week, you know, the stronger the partnership between UTEC and the city and the police department, the safer the city is.